It's early morning and I'm navigating my way out of Madrid and after three weeks of traveling around Spain, I'm heading back home to Italy and I'm gonna explain to you why I think Spain is the best country in Europe for traveling. A good reason is that there are plenty of airports to get to where you want to go. Spain's a big country, so you need many options. You got Madrid in the middle. You have, Bar you have Barcelona over on the east. You have Bilbao up in the north and down in the south, Malaga. Muchas gracias. Adios. See you. Bye. Adios. Hola. Hola. Florencia. Gregor Brown here at the airport lounge in Madrid. Now another reason you want to consider Spain, it's the beaches. Everywhere you go in Spain, you can find great beaches. In Mallorca, down in the south, on the coast in Andalusia, Malaga, near Barcelona, in Catalonia, up north, Cantabria, Galicia, Basque country. It is beautiful all around Spain and you can find so many amazing beaches. If beaches aren't your thing, try hitting the open roads and exploring the country all around Madrid. We had so much fun in this last Vuelta España for three weeks driving across the countryside. You get to see and do so much. We spent several days traveling through Andalusia, the olive trees, these little places. We came across a town like Olvera, these olive trees, this little pueblo on the top of a hill amazing. Then up in the north, towns like Lyon are worth exploring. In the Basque country, Bilbao is worth a day's visit. The big capital, Madrid, has so much to offer, so much nightlife. It's an amazing city full of restaurants and cafes. And I'm gonna go back to Andalusia because it's my favorite region right now. One town in particular inland is called Granada. There you can see a place, Alhambra. I made a separate video about that, so check that video out as well. But the town has a lot of nightlife, has bars, has cafes, but it also has culture. You can explore Alhambra, you can get up and go to Sierra Nevada. It's the highest peak in Spain, on continental Spain. Up at 2,500 meters, the air is thin up here, Granada's off in the distance. And if you love nature, you gotta get yourself up here, it's beautiful. Spain is ideal for a road trip. Reminds me so much of the United States, driving around in the car, hire a car, the open highways, many of the highways, you don't have to pay a toll at all. And that's different compared to Italy and compared to France, where you're paying a lot to drive on the highways. And another town in Andalusia, Seville, it's got its bullfighting arena. It's got its big fountains. I went out for an early morning run. Really enjoyed that town. I wanted to stay there. Up to the north in Echamundo. I think I'm pronouncing that region right. Merida. It's this town, you wouldn't know it, small place on the map, but it has all these great Roman ruins. And they say out of Spain, it's the best place to find Roman ruins. A massive temple there, an ancient Roman bridge. If you're out west of Madrid, definitely check out that little town. And it's not just these cities and pueblos. Go inland from any of those, look for the high road, get up into the mountains because there's so many beautiful mountains and ridges to explore. Drive your car up there, park, hike around. Spain, the high mountains are marvelous. Another reason is drinking your way around Spain. I like to start every evening with a beer. My favorite is Estrella Galicia. Also, Alhambra makes the beer carries the same name as the famous Muslim fortress there in Granada. So many good beers to have along with tapas. And then for dinner, get into the wines, get the Rioja, drink a glass of that, or try the Riberas. Many different wines to choose from, many different styles for everybody's palate. Oh, traveling around Spain, drinking your way around Spain. There's nothing better. Spain is one of the best countries in Europe for it. <laughs> Another reason is the food. Oh, there's so much good food in Spain. You start off, you start off with the tapas. You get the little finger food, the tapas, get a drink, and they give you a plate of food, or you have to pay a little bit extra. There's the crocantes. There's the jamón ibérica. Then there's all the seafood. Spain has so 
much coastline so the seafood is delicious one of my favorites is the polpo a la grilla definitely go to spain with an appetite with an empty stomach and be prepared to eat and drink your way around the country maybe only italy has better food but spain is right there with it and the people the hospitality Hola. they want to make sure they serve you great food welcome on board If you guys are enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up that helps with all the YouTube algorithm and if you want to support me making all these travel videos please consider giving a super thanks that'd be much appreciated another reason is the Camino di Santiago make the pilgrimage ride your bike run or walk get out there to Santiago it's in the regions of Asturias Castilla y Leon and of course Galicia the Finnish there in Santiago and the architecture. Everywhere you go in Spain, you find gems. Of course, places like Barcelona with the Sagrada Familia, Gaudi's works, they're out of this world. But then you have other places, all the little pueblos, all the little towns and cities across Spain. You can find the churches, the museums, the old fortresses like Alhambra in Granada. It is just definitely worth getting out there, exploring every little city you find because there are some architectural gems. What about you? What are your favorite things or places to visit in Spain? Drop some comments down below, but definitely one of the best countries to visit in Europe is Spain.